Sanisa, when you were a little girl, you asked your father, can girls fight? Tonight, you proved that women can unify. What does this mean to you? This means everything to me. First of all, I want to thank God. He's blessed me so much throughout my whole career. And like I said at the press conference, who would have thought that a little girl from East LA would one day be unifying world titles on ESPN? Let's go! And I know that's not the final goal. There's another big fight going on tonight. What do you want to tell the other champions at 105 pounds? Um, I want to tell the other champion at 105 pounds that um, I'm, I'm whooping you next. We can get it next. I'm the best in this division and I know it and I want to prove it by being undisputed. Before this fight, you talked about the quality of your opponent and Tina Ruprecht. You said it was going to be a tough fight, yet you made it look easy. How was that possible for you? If, if my, my training, this, this training camp was more mentally tough than it was physically, and I showed it in the ring by sticking to my game plan, using my jab, which, um, you know, uh, pre I was pre previously told that I need to use my jab more, but Hey, when, when, when you have uh, the power and you only have two minute rounds, you gotta do what you gotta do by landing those power punches. I wanna put on an entertaining fight. But I knew with an opponent like Tina, I had to use my jab because she's a short fighter who stays very low. And when you fight fighters like that, you have to um, use your jab and stick to a game plan. And that's the reason why Tina defeated the other champion who holds the other two titles in this division because um, you know you gotta be super bad in order to, to defeat Tina. You mentioned the fact that you had to worry about her right hand. She got some of those right hands in. And you also actually did what you told us you were gonna do in the fighter meetings. You stuck to the jab. You said footwork was everything you worked on in camp. What was it about her that got you so focused and, and allowed you to give probably one of your best performances? Um, because I could, have, I could have defeated her by just fighting her on the inside, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to fight her on the outside and then fight her on the inside when she's least vulnerable. And uh, she, she couldn't really fight me on the inside either. She didn't know what to do on the outside. So I took it, by taking away her right hand, I took away her only weapon. And yeah, she landed it a few times, which is what I expected, but that was basically the only thing she landed throughout the fight that was big. When you look at yourself and where you are right now, you have two of the four belts at 105 pounds. Undisputed is next. How long do you see yourself staying at this weight class? Once I become undisputed, I want to move, move up to light flyweight and become undisputed there. And then I want to move up to another weight class and become undisputed there. My goal is to be undisputed in three different divisions. She came in to this girl that's on fire. Joe, I send it up to you because she is. Is she ever? She is just a superb performer. Sublime.